Hello, everyone. We have a lot to talk about with New Jersey Transit today. Uh, the governor gave a response in regards to the chaos with all the canceled trains recently. He was on vacation, but unfortunately, we had another fatality this morning on the Northeast Corridor. This happened uh, right around uh, Minnetowakan earlier this morning. We will get to that. You're quickly looking at a picture I took earlier this morning at Long Island Jewish as I was on the Q46 this morning. I was on my way to Flushing uh, to meet someone and take the 7 and do what I wanted to do today. So anyhow, somebody broke the glass as you're looking on your screen right now. And I'm left wondering who did this? Was it somebody from the MTA or was it somebody from Nice Bus? I'm really confused. Who owns this bus stop? Because this is literally right where Long Island Jewish is. Like, this is the main bus stop for Long Island Jewish. And I've waited there a couple times with the 46. I waited there to take the N25. And there was glass right on the sidewalk. First of all, that's not safe. And second, honestly, nobody really cares. No one really cares. You know, it's funny how people don't really care about it, but I'm going to mention this now. If they don't replace the glass by uh, after Labor Day, I'm giving, I'm giving somebody a chance here. I'm giving uh, Norfolk Health a chance. I'm giving the MTA a chance. I'm giving uh, Nassau County a chance to fix this. And if nobody does it, we need to take action. We need to get somebody to replace the glass because it's just not safe. Keeping in mind, this bus stop is for the people of the state of New York. It's not fair that if you're waiting for the bus, especially how not to mention, there's a church! There's a church right there! Alright? There's a church that people go to right by the hospital, right off campus, on Lakeville Road. And the people need to take the bus. There's going to be glass over there. And remember, a few weeks ago, or maybe a few months ago, I don't remember, it was vandalized. Somebody spray painted on it. So maybe somebody was authorized to do it. I don't know, because technically, the problem is we have an owner dispute. Does Northwell own the bus stop? Does the MTA own the bus stop? Does Nice Bus own the bus stop? Because there's a Nice Bus sign clearly over by the bus stop that says Q46, N25, N26, and the QM6 route, Q36, QM36, yeah. So, I wanted to show you this picture because I was disgusted to see this today. It really uh, didn't damper my day because it was nice and cool out. In fact, uh, while I was waiting for the end train today in Queensboro Plaza, I happened to notice there was a nice breeze. And felt like I was on the south shore of Long Island today. And uh, you go to Flushing. And I'll quickly mention, you notice there's a nice breeze on Union Street. As I was in the area today. So, it's probably because you're right by Flushing Bay. And same with uh, Queensboro Plaza. You're right by, uh, uh, unrelated, but you're right by the East River. So, this picture really didn't damper my day that much. I had a good day overall, but now we're going to get to the news with New Jersey Transit. So our first headline today is, of course, what happened on the Northeast Corridor. Earlier this morning, an unauthorized person was struck by a train. Keeping in mind, this is, I think, the third or fourth fatality on New Jersey Transit in the past two weeks. I've, I've lost the count at this point. Somebody can clarify that in the comments. I would appreciate it. Uh, of course the correction for my viewers but yes uh, here's what happened on the northeast corridor this morning so pretty much what happened was service was uh, suspended shortly before seven o'clock this morning train 3701 hit someone in the area of Minnetoshin around 6 30. Uh, New Jersey Transit did not disclose the person's age or gender. So, pretty much uh, keeping in mind 
the point I'm trying to make here is that this was an unauthorized uh, person, of course. The PATH train had the cross-honored people at Newark, Hoboken, and 33rd Street in New York City. So, the train departed New York Penn at 5.41 a.m. and was orig originally scheduled to arrive at Jersey Avenue Station in New Brunswick at 6.33 this morning. The train's engineers were treated for minor injuries, New Jersey spokesman Nathan Rudy said. The 60 passengers aboard were removed and brought by bus to their destination. So pretty much the buses had to take everybody to New Brunswick uh, as this was happening. Uh, here's what happened. Originally, uh, Northeast Corridor Rail Service um, resumed at 8 o'clock this morning. It had 60 minute delays in both directions. So, New Jersey, the North Jersey coastline had to make all local stops between Rawway and New York Penn Station. And uh, I'm trying to get you information about uh, the Amtrak Northeast Corridor because I do want to discuss that as well. So, here is when the tweet was sent. The tweet was sent out at 7.18 this morning. So, the... Uh, Train operations on the Northeast Corridor between New York and Trenton was suspended. So they were saying it was west of Metro Park, but remember, it happened near the other station, what NJ.com was saying. Okay. So this tweet was sent out at 8.15. So service was only suspended for an hour this morning on the Northeast Corridor of Amtrak. So, um, what we're going to do right now is just check to see if uh, NJT has any news stories regarding um, what happened. I'm trying to get you information, but I don't think we can... Uh, I don't think there's nothing at the moment. Yeah, and of course, you have the article on uh, what happened. So, pretty much, uh, I'm trying to see... Oh, okay, so NBC4 New York has more information. Let's try to read through this. Okay. So a person jumped off the platform and went through the windshield of the engine. So that's what happened. So again, uh, no information, but... NBC4 was very specific about this, so I'm very glad um, we had this story. Let's just check my um, my hometown station. Um, let's see what we got. Okay, the engineer was taken to Robert Wood Johnson Hospital in New Brunswick. All right, so the identity at this hour at 4:30 is still not available. So, uh, of course, that's why we check our sources to give you the right information. So, we're going to wrap it up today with uh, pretty much... Double check it for recording. We're going to wrap it up with uh, Governor Phil Murphy's press conference today on the canceled train situation, of course. Uh... Phil Murphy claims he'll fix it. Well, what is he going to do? Let's find out. So the governor today admitted that he underestimated the extent of New Jersey Transit's problems and promised today to put commuters on a pedestal. The contrite-sounding governor sounded, spoke to reporters after an hour-long meeting with New Jersey Transit's top directors about train cancellations during the past few weeks that have left commuters frustrated and upset. We understand the frayed nerves of our riders, he said. I don't blame commuters one bit for their anger and cynicism. We can and must do a better job. All right, so this is an interesting tweet. If they don't have enough employees to run a railroad and don't have enough coming down the pipeline, adjust the service, change the schedules, give the taxpayers of New Jersey a functioning transit system instead of the wholly unreliable mess it is. Commuters have criticized the governor for remaining on vacation in Italy instead of returning to the state to address the problem of canceled trains and severe overcrowding. 
The first topic the governor addressed was canceled trains that officials blamed on locomotive engineers who took who took unauthorized day off. June of last year, 111 trains were canceled compared with 245 trains canceled this year back in June, said Nancy Snyder, a New Jersey Transit spokeswoman. So, just remember this. Last year, it was a different situation because remember, the fat turd was still the governor, all right? Now that a uh, creepy smiling governor comes in and claims that he wants to do something, and he has a creepy smile. I'm, I'm sorry for saying that. Whenever I've been to the rest stops in New Jersey, I don't know, it, it, his, photo cre his photo creeps me out in a way, but how does New Jersey let these people get into office? Oh my God. Just saying. The overwhelming majority of engineers are doing everything we want to. A small population spoils for the broader population, the governor said. Union leaders blame the unexcused absences on New Jersey transit policy to only allow five sick days annually. That means an employee who used those five sick days earlier in the year can now be charged with an unexcused absence that gets sick, said James B. Brown, the Brotherhood of Locomotive Engineers General Chairman. The five six day, uh, sick day minimum was confirmed by the executive director, Kevin Corbett, who said it is the agency's policies. However, employees are allowed to carry over unused sick days to the next year, he said. All right. I don't really want to get into it that much. The <laughs> market rate. As I said, New Jersey really has a mess. They really do. Exactly. They were underfunded for so long. There have been eight years of neglect. I completely agree with that. Because remember, the Christie administration did not put funding into New Jersey Transit. They didn't. <laughs> yeah, now they're playing politics again. They're playing politics again. We have to blame Chris Christie. He's the one who caused this mess in the first place. This is still Chris Christie's problem. I just don't know what else to say about this anymore. Other than the fact that... Uh, I'm going to mention this again. I'm hoping the governor keeps his word. And next year, there will be better service on NJT. Maybe next year after this whole PTC work is over, you'll see the conductors come back. And hopefully there will not be any canceled trains. All right? That's what I'm hoping for, and that's what I'm hoping for the people of New Jersey at this point. So that's it. That's going to wrap up this update today. I uh, quickly want to mention I don't have any big uh, stories on the Long Island Railroad today. Nothing major has happened, so obviously there's no need to get into it that much. So this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Until the next one, take care.